Gary Long, the Cornishman, and Dave Mander. So they're up against the line. They're away. Nice clean start. The revs of the dust flying away. They come. There's Tim Fay on the outside. It's Tim Fay with a good start. I think it's Marvin Cox moving up the inside. It is. It's Marvin Cox up through the inside. Takes the lead. Almost effortlessly moves away from the second place man. We look across it to the far side. The first one trying to come through from the fourth place. So then, it's Marvin Cox with the lead at the moment, coming towards us, tucked in behind him, it's Alan Farmer, the third place is Rob Fortune, and behind him it's Tim Fay. Terrific start from Tim Fay, dropping back just a little bit now, but oh, just as I say that, he goes after the third place. Good battle there with Rob Fortune just ahead of Tim Fay in the third and fourth places. So then, it's Marvin Cox. sort of surface, leading from Alan Farmer. Tim Fay makes up that ground he seemed to have lost, and Tim Fay now pulls away. Alan Farmer closes right up on Marvin Cox, up at the head of things. But from that, then down these long straights, it's Marvin Cox, he pulls away. Alan Farmer closes up on the bench. Tim Fay now, and a good third place. Rob Fortune back to fifth place. So then, it's Marvin Cox who receives the last lap flag. Marvin Cox, Alan Farmer, right alongside, then Tim Fay. Then not one, seven, one, Gary Lobb, the young Cornishman. And Alan Farmer gets in front, it's Farmer in front. Cox fights back, and Cox powers away down the straight. They're only a half a bike's length, and Alan Farmer goes for the down first. It's Alan Farmer in the lead, Marvin Cox in second place. The Farmer's going to come through, going to the wide, indeed. Who's going to get this one? Marvin Cox comes through, Alan Farmer in second place. Tim Fay in third, Gary Lobb in fourth. In fourth Fifth place, Rob Fortune, and in sixth place, number 33, Nigel Harry, just ahead of number two, Adrian Miller. So, race 10 it is, Cyril Jones, Bernard Lee, Dave Shreddingham, Colin Sweeby, Tom Ledbitter, John Webb, Glim Armstrong, Mike Garrard, and Mike Haycock. And they go, and it's Mike Garrard making a superstar, Bernie Lee right there with him. Nice to see Bernie's kept those leathers of his. Cyril Jones right on the outside, I think, too. And it looks though like Cyril trying to come right around the outside of a lot of them. So it's Cyril Jones and Mike Garrard. And Bernie Lee there. Tom Leopard in the fourth place. Try to reach his way past the third. Lee and take third. So the leader, and who is it? It's Mike Garrard and Cyril Jones from Tom Leopard from Bernie Lee. So the battle's on here and it's still the upright figure of Mike Garrard now. Pulling away from Cyril Jones and Tom Ledbitter. That Bernie Lee. And Colin Sweeby looking to come through. And um, did anybody notice Andy Cooper out in the previous race as well? I think he's just enjoying himself. Colin Sweeby then. Closing up a little bit on that rather interesting oh, making his way through. Looking to our left, uh, they're still there, Mike Garrard, Cyril Jones, Tom Ledbetter, Bernie Lee, Dave Threadigan, and then Colin Sweeby, and then coming past us, number 33, Mike Haycock. Uh, that's a terrific battle on the far side, Tom Ledbetter takes the lead, Cyril Jones goes after him, Cyril Jones around the outside, Tom Ledbetter right there with it, Mike Garrard in third, then Bernie Lee, then Dave Threadigan, and then Colin Sweeby, they head for the flag! <laughs> Well, that was close. That was very, very close indeed. And equally close all the way down through there with Colin Sweetby and Dave Redding. I'm having quite a battle for, I think, fifth place. Oh, what a good race. Run, step one. Fair away. Well, Dean Barker, who a lot of you, I'm sure, have seen riding at Oxford. Uh, yeah. Nice, tight line. Dean Barker is a handsome leader with John Walmsley in second place. In third place now, Bob Camden, who's just ahead of Nigel Green. But a uh, gaggle of riders there battling it out for... Uh, Third place and uh, a little further back. Meanwhile, Dean Barker here. And Dean Barker staying ahead of John Walmsley. Hello, Farmer in third. Nigel Green in fourth. Gary Lloyd behind him. So we have a red 
flag on the bottom corner here. Driver coming up to the line. Gates gone up. Taken on the approach to the first band. It's Roger Mesa back in third place behind Richard Pickett. They come towards us for the first time, and it's John Hisco who was leading when he's all change on that band. And Mesa goes through. It's Roger Mesa from Richard Pickett. John Hisco. <laughs> Get down to it, both with Yamaha power, of course. Roger with it for the first time this year. Richard used Yamaha's for a little while, and Pickett comes through. It's Richard Pickett who leads. Roger Mesa in second place. And Pickett goes through a tremendous ride off that bend. Here they go again, side by side, and Mises through, Mises in front, Pickett on the outside, who has the edge as they come down the stage, it's Roger Mises from Richard Pickett. Still John Hiscock in third place. And Pickett still seemed to strike a little bit of trouble, seemed to hesitate then, or was he changing line to try and come up the inside? Mesa's going to get there, it's Mesa wins, Richard Pickett in second place. John Hiscock in third, in fourth place, number 17 it was, that must be 77, and Kevin Lapham. <laughs> it a good chance for us to see a few of them in action this afternoon. Away we go with race 11. Tim Bennett making the best of the starts. It is Tim Bennett that goes into that uh, first corner in uh, pole position. going on for that second, third and fourth place. You can see all the outfits coming together on that pit bend. Tim Bennett getting away from them a little bit. And together is 16 and 17, of course, Richard Chandler and Melvin Richwell. Melvin Richwell being forced to go on the outside, as you can see. Following the lines of Tim Bennett trying to hold the outfit in tight, but uh, always very difficult to start to wind the power on. You can sometimes be forced to go a little bit wide. Uh, indeed, obviously, in the interest of safety, the race being brought to a halt. I think you could all see exactly what happened there. But that's six laps. Indeed, we look to see how that will compare to this race 41 that we've already got underway. As they come round that first corner for the first time, it's Grant Fulton that leads from uh, Ian Lee Amos. Richie Knight is up there in third place. You see Richie Knight now moving through on the inside of Ian Lee Amos. That's Richie Knight in the black leathers on the inside, now in third place. Wait. Grant Fulton has got away from them, though, as they go down that back straight. The very distinctive white leathers, the very tall figure of Grant Fulton and Ian Lee Amos. Richie Knight is up on his feet and puts his machine on very, very unfortunate. 
unfortunate, but that's what happens when you're uh, being pushed as hard as that. Grand Ball knows this is superb ride, but under a lot of pressure, but as the checkered flag goes for him, that really was a superb ride from Grand Ball. Now, Kevin Mankus gets second place, Ian the Amos gets third. And going in this one, uh, they come to the line. I've got no time to go through the list of riders. We'll pick them up as they come round, because indeed they're already underway. It looks to me like the distinctive figure of something taller has got into the lead as they go into that first bed. Paul Mitchell is there in second place, but as you can see, they change positions as they come past us. Colin White almost doing in second place. It's Paul Mitchell that's lost his machine on that bottom corner. Lots of problems for a lot of riders trying to avoid Paul Mitchell. And indeed, as they come round for the second time, we look to see, yes, indeed, there will be a red flag. Paul still laid on the circuit on this bottom bend. That is, of course, the racing line.